So I asked for 101 subscribers on TikTok so I could go live, and a load of you went, not very happy at me, let's put it that way. Now, I don't know what reason you think I'm going on there. I mean, if you think I'm doing it because I enjoy it, you would be very, very wrong. I enjoy TikTok as much as you pay. You can't enjoy paying your council tax. However, some things in life we have to do whether we like it or not. Now, I'm waiting for the people to call out all the rest of it. So let me explain. At the moment, you and me, we're getting older. And at some point, we have a generation who are younger than us who are going to take over, whether we like it or not. And at the moment, those gener uh, generation are brainwashed by a bunch of lefty commie cunts, right? That's a problem. That's a real problem. Now, unfortunately, me putting out content on stuff like, I don't know, YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, stuff like that, Getter, is not going to get to these people. Whether I like it or not, they're not there. And that's a problem. So unfortunately, I've got to go into these fucking shit pits, like TikTok, like Instagram, like, what's the other fucking mess? Well, it was Twitter, but it might get better now. Uh, Elon Musk has just bought it out. There's a lot of screaming and shouting there, by the way. So I've got to go to these places. And it turns out that there's not the only, well, I'm not the only person that's doing it. There's a lot of other conservatives that have gone there that are having great traction, are winning people over. Now, just think of this, right? If I went there, say, for instance, one over 5,000 younger minds than mine, bear in mind the age group I'm going is for 18 upwards, all right? Just so you know, make that very clear. So I start winning over, say, for instance, five or 6,000 people. My job's done. That's all I needed to do. If I get more, better. But we've got to get to this fucking youth, right? And we've got to educate them that what they've been taught is bollocks. How else are we going to get to them? They're not coming to the platforms we're on. So we have to go to them. I'm sure there's something about taking the man to the mountain or the mountain to the man, or whatever it was in biblical times, I don't know. So, giving me shit for going on some site that you say is a CCP site and a, oh, you'll end up on a list. If you don't think I'm already on that list, because they spy on all of the countries within the world, and they'll have a list of people who speak out about their government and go against it. Well, I'm quite active about speaking out against my government, so I would imagine I'd be on one of those lists. Because if, say for instance, say for instance, hypothetically speaking, China took over, right? Well, anybody who goes against his politics gets put in the gulag, or worse still. I'm aware of these. Um, but... I'm already on that list, so there it is. So I don't really care. Put it this way, all my cards are on the table. I, I've got nothing more to... I've get, I, they know everything about me, so I, I can't lose any more than I already will. So the way I look at it is go in, go flat out, or go home. So I've got to go on to these places, as I say. So maybe you might want to rethink what you were saying in those comments, because if you don't want to go on there, and you don't want to mix with the people in there, fine. But I've got to because that's what I do. Um, and if I don't get to the youth of today, right, and we leave the youth of today in the hands of the left, we're fucked. Because you may be rough and tough at the moment and maybe able to cope and handle yourself. But at some point, you're going to be old when you can't defend yourself. And our hands and our care is going to be in the hands of these people, which at the moment, a proportion of them don't fucking like us. And the other proportion of them, not all of them, are... Well, lied to at best, as we were when we were younger. So I've got to go over there and I've got to do live streams and put out content, whether I like it or not. Now, this mess of a room you're going to see at the moment, if I can turn it around, and I'll see if I can pull that down. Nope, that's the wrong way. That's where the, incidentally, that beam's where the lights are going to come off and stuff like that. Why not use what's already there? As you can see, there's Dave. That's big Dave. He's going to be on the live streams. It's not exactly a small room with all of these massive sofas and stuff like that in it. They won't be here. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a studio. When I say we, <laughs> me, in here. And basically speaking, we're going to have people to come and I'm going to interview them live. Similar to what Joe Rogan would do, but a lot cheaper. All right. Um, also, the new computers come. That's waiting to come in here when it's all been decorated. Um... That was three grand, but it's worth it. Um, that with all the other kit I've got, I will make the live streams a lot more engaging. I'm going to go out on a lot more platforms because this, the processor and everything on that thing is so much stronger than what I was using. What I was using was brilliant. It's worked for four years, but we needed to go a bit more. So this new computer will do so much more and we'll be able to go out and live stream to say, for instance, 10 different sites at the same time, which is pretty good shit. Um, 
but this place has got to be decorated first and then projectors got to be put in computer setup got to be put in cameras have to be organized lighting has to be organized so it is what it is and then we will be going out on all of these different platforms at the same time so i'll still be going out on youtube i'll still be going out on facebook i'll still be well i'll be going back out on getter and all this rest of it so it's going to be a lot more involved and it's going to take a lot more effort so at the moment i'm working 10 to 11 hour days then coming home and doing this and then on the weekends flat out doing youtube so i'm fairly busy but eventually the plan will be to do this and not the lorry driving that's the plan for the the future and when I do that, I will be able to get more people in to help me and the experience that you'll get will be a lot, lot more. So there it is. Right. Anyway, off to work. Got to pay for that eight quid fucking bill that I got for uh, driving my van into London, which in the old days, the, um, the URL zone or wherever it was, wasn't there. As you go past, is it Fuller's? There's a brewery as you go in. I didn't know that that was. So yeah, I've got 80 quid fine. If I don't pay it now, I've got to pay how much? Hang on, where is it? £80 now, or 160 or if that doesn't work, 240 Brilliant, excellent, just the job. Anyway, we're going out live Saturday night. Uh, we're going out on all the normal channels, and then once we've done the, the pub stream, then we're going to do a, a second stream after about uh, MGTOW, incel, call it what you want. Blokes that just aren't having anything to do with women anymore. Why? And, um, yeah, after that, we'll probably do the Sunday stream. And then we'll go back to work and do it all again. So thanks for watching this. I'll see you in a bit.